random order. And the new guy, the hometown guy, Joseph Newgarden, is going to start on the poll. The absolute hero of Nashville, Joseph Newgarden, longtime friend of mine. Can't wait to see how he does. It's very rare for the folks that follow motorsports to see Joseph racing something other than an IndyCar. There's the local hero, Cole Williams. More about him in just a minute. While you look at the rest of the 13-guard grid, let's talk to Joseph Newgarden as he rolls away from the start-finish line. Joseph Newgarden, it's Connor Daly up in the booth. Do you have a copy? Oh, CD, I got you. Well, first of all, Joseph, I appreciate you letting me stay at your house last night. Two 12-minute timed races. Starting order for the first heat, drawn at random. They invert the finish from this first heat to start the second. And then the average of your finishes in the two heats determines where you line up for a 75 lap main. Green flag in Music City. exactly what he wanted to get away from the guys behind him but i know he wants to settle in but this guy's uh, got a great start going here and they went three wide middle of the pack the uh, 46 red white and blue car the patriotic theme that is the local hero the local all-star Paul williams he got stuck in the middle of a three wide sandwich and they all got away with it well in practice earlier he was quite a lot faster than everyone else he definitely has the experience here and i was watching the race earlier with all the late model race here you can run that middle lane you can run too wide here quite a lot more than we expect and it's a lot faster of a track than we've run so far this season and that means that you're going to see a lot more excitement here i think and that's elio castroneves in red bobby labonte in white and then tony stewart in the brighter red car second third and fourth now castroneves back with the series this week after missing the race a week ago has won a heat race in four of the last five srx events he's competed in so Elio's kind of figured this out a little bit. Caution flag is out. Our SRX green flag lap limit. We'll put the yellow out. Take a break. Come back. Double them up. New Garden in purple. Castroneves in the red. Green flag. And we're back at it. Former Penske teammates in IndyCar going head-to-head -head in the SRX series. We love to see this. Newgarden squeezes up in front of Castro Nevis, so now Bobby Labonte in white to the inside for second place. I love to see this. Joseph's probably got his eyes in his mirrors looking at who's, who's going to be attacking him first, and we've got Bobby Labonte on the low side trying to get Elio. Matt Kenseth the Michael Waltrip, two names that you absolutely have to recognize if you know Motorsport, and it's just awesome to see these guys battle with each other. Of course, this is the, the speedway where Daryl Waltrip made his name, 67-time winner. Michael's got a win here, too. It was a while ago, 1984. I was not alive. <laughs> Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> the first thing Michael Waltrip said to me about nine hours ago, well, let's say about eight hours ago, probably around practice time, he's like, only nine hours until I get to the bar <laughs> so he can have some of his beers. Uh, think about what those Daytona 500 winners trophies mean, right? And yes. Michael, Michael had his arm wrapped around it and was, uh, was sharing it with everybody. He said, it gives me joy to, to, to let people see it up close rather than it just be locked away in my trophy case somewhere all the time. Loud and proud. If you win that race, you everyone better know it. Yeah. Joseph Newgarden, in his IndyCar career, has won four times when starting on the pole. He's about to win a heat race after starting on the pole in his first try in an SRX car. Side by side, Stewart barely edges out Newman. That would be for sixth place. And heat race number one is in the books. First heat all wrapped up. Here are your results. You heard Alan Bestwick talking about Joseph Newgarten right before the break. He's in that front spot, followed by Elio Castroneves and Bobby Labani in third. So Cole Williams in the Patriotic Machine will start on pole for uh, the second of our two heat races. They lined up in invert order up there, finishing the first one. So Ryan Hunter Ray in the black number one machine is outside of Williams as they come to turn four for the start.
comes in as we as we race on here because I think these cars are capable of going too wide for a while if we can uh, get a bit of uh, grip out there and we'll see what happens. Michael Walsher in the uh, light blue machine. There's Ryan Newman to his inside. Last week's winner. Oop, little bump there. than that right there. Little bump pull Tracy and Lime Green on Michael Walter. How about PT with his first SRX podium at Stafford last Saturday night? Tony Canon in that uh, pink car back with the series this week. He made a trip to pit road between the two heat races and had a little adjustment made on his car among the few adjustments. You're really the biggest mover I think in this race so far and really in general of, the, of both heat races so far. So Bobby finished third in the first heat race. He's running sixth in this second heat race now. You see Marco Andretti with a pretty good leap forward in this second heat also. Yeah, great showing from both those guys honestly. I, I, I can't wait to see how how Bobby figures out how to get around Paul Tracy. <laughs> There's our SRX green flag lap limit yellow flag. I call it the fun flag. <laughs> Here we go, green flag. Great start by Biffle on the outside. Biffle and gold. Williams in the red, white, and blue car. Marco Andretti squeezes Ryan Hunter Ray off to get third spot. Love to see a couple of old teammates rubbing doors a little bit against each other. That's awesome. Biffle had a bit of history after South Boston <laughs> and Pensacola. There's a lot more contact on this freestyle than I expected. Okay, check out, look at that right front of Hunter Ray's car. He's turned to the right trying to save that car, and Elio Castroneves can't get one up in time. This is a couple laps ago in turn one. Uh, yeah, Elio's car is extremely broken. That right front wheel did things that it should not do. <laughs> And because that fender is now missing from the Castro Nevis car, the caution is out. There it sits on the front straightaway. Are going quite a lot faster than you would when you're running by yourself. And Ryan already was crossed up. Yeah. And Elio cannot get on the brakes quick enough. Contact move right there. Well, Elio's car is bruised. Yeah. And Elio his loves using that right too. front. Yeah. <laughs> his feelings may be too. Uh, because he had high hopes of another main event win tonight. And look at that. I don't know if that's going to get it done tonight. <laughs> Tony Stewart on pit road. And uh, the SRX crew looking under his car. You see the time has run out on our timed heat race. So this one is going to finish just the way it is now with that caution flag. And the local all-star, Indiana's Cole Williams, is going to get a heat race win tonight. The track point leader here at the Fairground Speedway is going to get a, a checkered flag to take away from it tonight in a totally different type of car. Yeah, honestly pumped for him. He's uh, his great, great performance. Had a couple restarts that he had to go through, but uh, comes away with the win. So, checkered flag will wave, and uh, the local fans are going to give their guy a salute. Cole Williams. Yeah, fireworks are worthy. <laughs> Fantastic round of applause here from the fans. Love to see it. There you go. The results from heat number two, yep, it's the local ringer Cole Williams who finished in the lead, followed by Marco Andretti and Greg Biffle. It's Matt Yoder.